Chow. I'm yeah. Stephen Flaherty. I'm the composer of The Glorious Ones. And that chow was Italian. It didn't mean he was looking for lunch. I'm going to start again. <laughs> just start again. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I have to do that. I thought that was just silly. It was silly, but I just thought chow. <laughs> you have to go chow. Chow. <laughs> My name is Stephen Flaherty. I'm the composer of The Glorious Ones. He's trying to sound Italian. That was a My oh, Italian well. Pittsburgh. Right there. Um, I'm Lynn Ahrens. I wrote the book and lyrics for the show. Um, and The Glorious Ones is based on a wonderful, interesting novel by Francine Prose uh, called The Glorious Ones. Um, it's the story of a traveling theater troupe in Italy in the 1600s. This is a time when these, um, what they were called, they were called Commedia dell'arte troops. They traveled around the countryside and they would arrive in a city or a town. They would set up these wooden platform stages in the town square, call everybody in, set, hang a raggedy curtain at the backdrop, and they would do a show. And the show would be uh, improvised. It wouldn't be written down. The only thing that was written down was a, a piece of paper called a scenario, and it would just give the basic action. But they, everything that happened on the stage was improvised and they were physical comedians, they could do magic tricks, they were bawdy, they told a lot of dirty jokes, they were crazy and silly and funny. And they, um, those Commedia dell'arte actors that who actually existed and traveled the roads of Italy so long ago, uh, formed the basis for a lot of the comedians and uh, comedy that we know today, Lucille Ball, Jim Carrey, um, Robin Williams, Andrea Buster, Martin, Andrea Martin, Buster <laughs> Keaton, all of these physical improvisational yeah. comedians uh, learned their stuff by studying the Commedia dell'arte and they were very influenced by it. Um, so the story of the Glorious Ones on, in our show is about this particular traveling troupe called the Glorious Ones who travel around Italy and um, over the course of the show uh, the troupe members obviously interact, uh, they have love affairs, they have um, breakups, they have um, emotional dealings with one another. On stage, we do performance numbers that are totally comedic, and off stage, we learn about the real people, the real performers. So there's an on stage and off stage um, aspect to the show. And by the end of the show, the glorious ones have all ascended to heaven, and they're looking back at what they created so many years ago, and theater has been through so many permutations since then. It's become sophisticated, it's become elegant, it's become whatever, but what they created lives on today far more than any of that. So it's about the eternal quality of comedy and of just sheer joy in, in creating something funny. That's what it's about. I see it! 